All right, so two updates coming up on Penax TV. Before we dive into the breaking news where Daniel Esuidu, aka Sexy Dondon or Gongon, Accra High Court has said that the man needs to go for a psychiatric checkup. I also because he is not mentally well. We know that this is a plan. It's a plan by some people in power to show the boy. No man can say, uh, guy, you know, he's suffering from mental illness. So they'll leave him or they'll leave him. Yes, one year they are born in several kun JB down Kwano. One bear say a Kwanandri Mukan in your Munjano. This particular issue is what is going on here in Ghana. But before we dive in into that particular news, a very sad one, as we said earlier on our sister station, Penax GH. Yesterday it rained here in Accra, and a very sad one. Just about three hours rain. It happened two weeks' time. Uh, that was last two weeks. We said we talked about it where five people were dead. The circle flood. Yesterday, it happened again. Three hours rain. Now, seven people are dead. Information we are getting coming in from the National Management Disaster Organization, NADMO, indicates that the death toll is gradually going up. The very sad part of all of, uh, all of this particular uh, incident is that two policemen, two policemen have been found dead. In fact, they were even a couple. They've been found dead in the Sunday floods yesterday. And it's a very sad one because uh, the, the, this is a picture of the soldier that, or the couple who drowned who drowned yesterday, Sunday, uh, during the rain pour, the downpour here in Accra. Now, this was what happened. According to the NADMO, uh, the bodies of these four persons, including a husband, a wife, and military officers who drowned Sunday night, have been retrieved from the gutters along the Tema. Accra motorway. Now, detailing what really happened, this was the eyewitness report of what really happened that led to four people dying. And these two, uh, there were two couples among these four people who died, which means uh, it was a husband and a wife. They were all military persons. They died. According to the eyewitness, this particular man and woman or husband and wife who were both military personnel or military officers, they were driving to Tema during the particular downpour which was happening uh, which was happening yesterday night so whilst they were driving you know the storm and all of this they tripped and they had an accident and then they fell into a ditch so before they could realize it soon they were caught they had an accident and they fell into a ditch they trying to get out or they trying to get out you know come out of there that particular ditch a ditch is like a, a very big quarter and now pit be so when they when they had the accident when they were trying to come out of the car the flood was so much because the gutters here is too small and it took this particular officer uh, officer and the wife away these two people are actually couples information we are getting is that the man's name is sergeant arthur jabez sergeant arthur jabez and the woman's name is warrant officer wo sarah kwaji the woman's name is warrant officer wo Sarah Kwaji. They are all military personnel. The information we are getting is that they were on a military pickup which was involved in an accident at a shaman during the rains yesterday, Sunday night. The big question that we continue to ask ourselves is that for how long, for how long will this thing continue to happen here in Ghana? We'll talk more about this, but then let's dive in further to the main reason why we are here today, right here on Penax TV. For some time and many years now, we're following the JB Dankwas case. JB Downka was an MP for Ibuakwa North and he was gruesomely murdered, I think somewhere 2016, uh, whilst he was in his uh, whilst he was in his house together with a wife and children. He was gruesomely murdered and shot dead. And then uh, the police at that time, together with the president of the Republic of Ghana, during that particular time, Mahama vowed that he and the police administration would do everything possible to find the people or the perpetrators behind this particular crime and act. Just when we all thought that we found the main suspects. Of the JB Danquest case, a case which is going to about five years. You've not even found any trace or anybody said this particular person is linked to this death or not. No, the main suspect, the court has ruled yesterday and even today that they should take their boy for a psychiatric checkup. This is what is happening. And information we are getting is that if this thing should happen, Say uh, they take this boy to the Accra Psychiatric Hospital and they realize that Nadri Mukan, as the court and his lawyers have said, say, uh, boy, no, wow, it's me, friend, lawyer, no, I can say, uh, a year equip him for non person we see or any into no serve you good. What Sam Kraka said, he wants uh, a lawyer from the ICC, that's the International Criminal uh, Community, or uh, one of like big courts, we are seeing, and also a lawyer from the non-bidding as So, based on this particular thing, you know, 
the lawyers are suggesting say boy Nigerian will come into no yesterday and today they told their courts and they did whatever possible to make the lawyers and also the judges agree that they should take this boy for a checkup at a psychiatric hospital, particularly Pantine Hospital. But then the information we are having is that if they should take this boy, if they should take this particular Daniel issued or sexy dundo, now occur pass the test, no? say he's really mentally ill positive. Say uh Yarena na y didn't hear the call mental hospital saying question gym wa pass it test and answer or your positive and no no let just say boy no number in an idea can na send a gana yam brand it in or how our laws in Ghana is if they take somebody to or if they find that somebody has committed a crime and they realize that that person have a mental illness they will leave the person or they will take the person to hospital to treat the person because they believe say the person they didn't act it in his right state of mind we believe say this particular one it's not what we are all thinking. And yes, the boy Nigerian Mukani need the whole power, he need the whole. And there are some big people in power. There are some big people shielding this boy. That is why perhaps in Semna Bano or Mumpeso Be Casa So they are trying to get a very good exit or a very fair exit for this boy. Not only mean pass it through, escaping jail and escaping justice here in Ghana. It's in the Nico Pantine Hospital. Say, Yanko, Nico Shenadrim. Now, pass the test now. This is a very sad news here in Ghana. But then the wife of JB Dankwa, whose name, or the wife of the late JB Dankwa, whose name is Ivy Herwood Mills, have come out to say that, you know, she will very soon protest here in Ghana. Even if a uh, non kind of protest, she will go on the streets, she will go naked, she will do everything possible to get the attention of authorities here in Ghana. Say, it's been like four good years. Four good years, getting to five years. They have not been able to get the people behind the, the death of his beloved of her beloved husband, JB Dankwa. MPP government is on power, but then nothing or little has been now. What's more, she said sometimes say, or call an a police for a friend for interview and interrogation. Now all they ask is say, I mean you say the when you fair on why for not forgetting the husband now we won't. How can this be happening here in Ghana? Now information we are getting pay. What is happening on the ground in the court swinging that happened today from the Accra High Court seems to suggest that sexy Don Don will be going for I mean a mental checkup and when he passes he is a free mind because to it will be assumed say whatever he did be um, he didn't do it in the right state of mind. This was what his lawyers has uh, has fought for and the and the lawyers have already won the first battle pay our witness here and what we are witnessing here in Ghana. So that is what is going on. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Firstly, about the sad story which happened today where a couple, uh, they are military couple, they had an accident at a shaman high road and then, you know, they fell into a ditch or something and the rains just took them away just because Ghana has said, you know, we don't have enough gutters, our drainage system is poor, uh, rubbish and everything is just bad. They are gone. And then what's more, information we are getting from the National uh, Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, seems to tell us that the, the death toll of these particular people who have died yesterday in yesterday's flood is getting up and up. Currently, it will eat, it will eat, and this is gradually become a national concern because the meteorological service here in Ghana have warned that there will be more rains and thunderstorms come this April, June, July. So the question is, are we safe, me and you? Are we safe? And also, uh, as we told you earlier on, JB Dankwa, the main suspect uh, of JB Dankwa's death, whose name is uh, Daniel Isidu, aka Sosi Dondon, caught a fool, said, Yanko, you should go for a mental checkup because they believe that the guy himself is not stable. If he should win, then it means that if he killed JB Dankwa for real, he didn't do it in the right state of mind. So he will be free. As we said, this is a planting. Almost, yeah, it's an abeja. The boy will get a quick and an easy exit. But then it's now any demonstration Justice needs to be prevailed. This particular JB Dankwa can be my father, my brother, or perhaps my friend. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Please like and share this video to your various social media handles. Visit our website, pinaxonline.com. Please subscribe if you are new here. Thank you very much for watching.